So I can finally say that's like a bucket list thing ticked off that I actually finally found one in an off shop after all these years. <laughs> What's going on ladies and maggots? Today we are going hunting. I'm also showing you some crazy things that I have recently picked up and sold on eBay. There's going to be some really good stuff in here. If you do like that sort of bloody content, buckle up, let's go. What is it? It's a bed sheet, isn't it? Fucking small bed sheet. What is it? Table runner. What is it? Table cloth. Yeah. Oh well. You see one of them? Yeah. Four bucks. Beautiful. Get them all. What's that? Uh, curtain. It's a curtain. Curtain. Different? There's two of these as well. Marnie's? There you go. You got one? Nah, I don't want none of those. Shit sits too long for me now. Hawks are good for me. You reckon? Curtains? Don't know. Should do it all. Are you getting them all? I'll, do, I'll take two, you take two. Alright. There you go. You want him? Might as well. I'll give one to the old boy. He's hot. I don't know what he'll do with it. It's all good. We can chase shit later. You got some stuff in there. I got some stuff. Yeah. We'll do uh, end of the day haul. So I just did a quick pop into the old uh, Delacombe one there and they had these hokers. Which isn't something I see heaps of but it's a very good brand to pick up. But they had 25 on it. Luckily there they do the <laughs> Um, little coupons that you get after you get a certain amount of stamps you get the 50 percent off so i managed to snag that along with a couple of other pieces so happy with that but i'm swinging around to mum and dad's now to pick up something that they picked up for me and i'm very excited to show you it's something that has featured a little bit late well of late and i think they're really cool really unique there's also another one here that i've just picked up so <laughs> gonna have some fun with them So a massive shout out to mum and dad, because while they're on holidays, they <laughs> grabbed this for me. It's the Willy Talks ventriloquist doll. Can you talk? Oh boy, hell I can. What's going on, <laughs> uh, What an absolute ripper this is. I love this stuff. If you've been following along for a little while, uh, you would have seen a few weeks ago that I picked up some other ones. I've been hanging to get one of these for a long time, and now I've got like four in the last month. What's the chances of that? Anyway, this is the Willy Talk. This is the Horseman. I think they're from about the 70s. It is plastic and it's in great condition. So what I'm looking for in this stuff, because comps can be all over the joint. You seriously, it's hard to judge. Sometimes you'll see 60 bucks on these. Sometimes you'll see $300. It's kind of supply and demand. And then sometimes a waiting game to get the top dollar. So um, if you ever do come across them, be very careful with comps because sometimes they may not be accurate. Also, the older original ones can be made of porcelain and the eyes move. They're very, very breakable and very, very cool. They are worth heaps more. So be um, very, very careful that you don't undercut yourself. But I'm pretty happy with him. I think he'll sit on the shelf. Another thing I look for is the original clothing, which this one has in good condition. Mostly is a bit of a rip in the knee there, but uh, I'm not too stressed. Ironically, uh, this one came today too. This is the Howdy Doody doll. Howdy Doody doll. 73, 1973 this one. So um, this actually came off of eBay, I purchased this, because I thought he looked cool, sent an offer, and got him sort of under, it come with a DVD and a book, which I've resold pretty well straight away, put that back up, but this is in really good condition too. So um, the Howdy Doody and the Willy Talk. Uh, very happy with those, just three Muppets, I mean, two puppets on your screen. What do you reckon? Do you like these things or what? Or let me know in the comments. Do you like this shit or does it creep you the hell out? Dragon's egg, mate. <laughs> Dragon's egg. And what's inside that? No good. Sure. 
Beautiful. Here I am expecting five bucks, 15, they're onto us. Something that can have good value at times to resell is Monopoly sets and quite often you'll find them on the uh, shelf in an op shop. Whether they're complete or not is the next thing. But anyway, I found a couple today and one of them was a sealed friends Monopoly and six bucks in savers. Sealed, I had to get it. But this other one that I found was the Mazda edition. And there was one comp, one sold comp of $200 brand new sealed. This wasn't sealed, but it was great condition. And there was nothing listed. So, I mean, that's pretty good strike rate, isn't it? Nothing listed, one sold. Shows it's rare, shows it goes for decent money. So, at six bucks, that is coming home with me every day of the week. Anyway, I listed it last night. I put it straight up because it's a quick, easy listing. And sure as shit, it sold last night too for $150 plus ship. So... That could have been the best item for the day. So it's always worth looking out for these monopolies, uh, especially the limited ones. Some of the real estate ones go for good money, some just random stuff. So yeah, a lot of them are crap. Definitely worth having a quick look to see if there's some dollars there. Pretty happy with this. More docks out here at uh, Preston. 30 bucks, taking them. Dragon hasn't been going as well, but I'm still gonna get these. Yeah, I've got some stuff. The red bag at every stop. A monopoly nearly at every stop. <laughs> docks. We've got docks. That's good. You've got a fucking bag at every stop too. Yeah, not as full as yours though. Oh, nice. Oh, it's oldie. Oh, it's oldie. Is that jerseys or? No, no tags cut off. No. Look, I think it was Haynes. No, oh, yeah, not Haynes. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's all right. Bit of vintage. That'll be a uh, good one on Depop. Depop. So this next stop is Savers in Footscray. I've had some mad luck there lately. Um, I've shown the, the Matthew Bate jumper. Just the other week I went down there and I actually got three awesome things in one go. And that was an EC doll. It was the first time I've actually ever got one in an op shop. I've had lots of them. I've had probably seven or eight of them. But I've always bought them at like auctions or online, uh, Facebook groups, marketplace, stuff like that. That's where I've always picked them up. I was getting good money for them through COVID. That has dropped off significantly. I paid 50 bucks for this one, but it got wheeled out at that point. When I seen that, I ran after it. I was so happy. Um, so I can finally say that's like a bucket list thing ticked off that I actually finally found one in an off shop after all these years. Also on that trolley, there was a Living Dead doll. Anyone that's been following for a while would know that I used to talk about them a lot. And it's all, it's something that I love picking up. Some of them, yeah, they're not worth heaps, bit slow sell through, but some of them are absolutely amazing. This one sold straight away and he cost me about $18, I think from memory. Uh, hopefully there's a price tag on the, the item in the overlay there. Um, and also the Buffy figure. This thing was still in the box. It had been opened, but it was immaculate. That literally sold in like 10 15 minutes i put 180 on it the comps were actually less there was just nothing in australia and someone over in the states bought this one like straight away so 180 plus ship so it returned about 200 bucks after i took off my 20 percent it cost me i think about 16 dollars or something um so yeah it's a really good profit that was a really good day that day at savers and i just thought i'd show that because uh i do love this footscray savers i also recently i would have if you follow my Instagram and TikTok, if you don't, go and have a look because you'll see some of this stuff before it comes to YouTube, sometimes weeks before. There was a Rip Girl pullover, the uh, the quarter zip there for 15 freaking dollars, just flicking through a rack and pluck that out. There was vintage nuff nuffs everywhere, including myself, and somehow I was a lucky bastard that ended up with it. So I've had some killer luck down there lately. So that's another day of thrift and done. I didn't do a whole lot of filming today, but we did do a bit of buying. So we're gonna show you quickly a couple of pieces because we've at least got a boot full. We did four savers and that's it. One that? Four savers. That's it, yep. So it's not bad, four savers. I've spent a few hundred. How'd you go spending wise? Uh, it's probably about a hundred in here, I reckon. Didn't go quite as hard. Yeah. I did pay up for a couple of items. I'll show them in a minute, including the old doctors. Got two pair of doctors. Couple of them. 
couple of doctors. It's probably the most I spent, they were 30 bucks. But I'm happy with that, because they should go. Yeah. Well, they about 150, I guess. Good Once too. they're cleaned up, so. Oh, look, just this old vintage chat. <laughs> We'll have to just uh, blur out the, um, where is it? Oh, they've seen worse. Oh, there we go. That was nice. Well, hello there. Just set, look at the old ads on the old vintage surf magazines. Pretty cool. Hey. Bill of long core jeans. So, yeah, just a few bits and pieces. Right there. Just nothing, no no bangers, but just a good day out. Hey, hey beautiful. You got yeah. some breakables by the sound of that. Yeah, that's all uh, Pyrex, mate. Oh, here we go. Russian Pyrex. No bangers. He pulls out the fucking $30,000 pot. <laughs> we're all talking about this. Yes. It's a big reveal. Julie, we're talking about corning wear. Maybe you don't recognize the name, but I will bet that you'll recognize the look. Okay, here's the big reveal. You ready? Did this bring you back? I'm sure just seeing this probably brought you back in time to your childhood visits to grandma's house. And if that's the case, hopefully grandma held on to her collection because some Corningware dishes are worth a lot of money now. So at least one of the vintage dishes sold for more than $10,000 on eBay. Since then, several articles have popped up talking about this sale and others. For example, a blue and white casserole dish like the one you see here sold for around $12,000. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, we listen to that for, for 10,000 tonight. Yeah, if you get in quick, you can get it for eight. No, it's good, mate. Thanks again for coming along. We didn't uh, see too much of you today, but uh, always good to have a thrift. Jump over, winning pickers on Instagram. Check if you out. want to see the rest of this stuff, he might show it off for you. Yeah, I'll do a bit of a haul. Well, that would have been probably a week ago by the time I get it up, yeah. so... <laughs> Then, oh, I'll pull this shit out and go through it. I can't even remember what I bought, so I'll spin this around and go through it in a minute. See you there, Coggo. And the shoes are docks, the purple docks. Ah, oh, they're a little bit small, and I did pay up, paid the 30, but I think these will go really well, really good condition. And then the, the black ones, I've lost one. Uh, it's got that ankle zip there. These are a good size. What are they? Oh, still a little bit small, US 9 men's. Um, and the Merrill, so they were 30, 30, and these were 10 Merrill. So that's just a good brand that I tend to grab. Not a huge shoe guy, as I tend to say a lot, but I tend to buy a lot. Um, so, yeah. So he's just going to go on the Humphrey shelf. Another Humphrey bear. We've got the Troll dolls. Um, and the 91. Still got a sticker. The Russ. <laughs> it's like a, uh, a Wilma. How cool is that? Some of these are awesome. There's another one. We'll have to look them up. Bare ass. These can be very underrated. I love trolls. I was pretty happy to find them. I don't know what this is. Didn't look it up. Forza Italia. It's definitely old. Four bucks fifty. So I just grabbed it. Made in Italy. Um, feel like that's something. Do you ever just get that feeling, Coco? It's just something in it. I haven't got time to come. <laughs> oh, this is kind of nothing flash. It's just the Richmond Tigers hoodie, but it was seven bucks. You know, I'll get 25. I like this unique Ralph Lauren. Uh, I did pay up. Happy to pay kind of that 15 50 I feel like there is about $50 in that one. And then I think this was seven, the country road. So the quarter zip there. Always sort of do all right, these jumpers. This is very green too. Pure wool, it's a target, just an old target. But it's seven bucks, that should be okay. This one was 11, the Country Road. It's a large, it's really good, Nick. It's an older one. Don't love them, but same thing, the lighting's not real good looking through this camera, so um, that's like a darker, darker green, if we can get it on there. The Hawks curtains, I don't know what's going to happen with them. Um, Brett will probably get his up before I get mine up. But anyway, I'll probably give them to Dad. A uh, pair of ASICs, they were 10. So, you know, it's pretty basic. Gel, something or others. Probably 30 or 40. What's this one? Another wool. Another bit of wool. What did I pay on that? I paid 13 on that. Sovrano Pure Wool XL. Little pattern there, good condition. 
Grand final hats can be hard to get, so 2.09, I was pretty happy with that, four bucks. I reckon probably 25 to 30 for the right person. Um, yeah, I tend to go grab those if they're under five. Certain years do better than others, even modern. And just a bummer's modern kitty one, it was only 5.50, uh, boys. So I actually grabbed that two gift to somebody, so not for sale. Looks like it's about 22 bucks on the Lord of the Rings. I'll probably chuck that in my cabinet at the Ballarat Vintage Collectibles Market. Um, selling a bit of that sort of stuff out there. So I'll go a bit under maybe 18 or something. Probably even less. AFLW, just a standard home. Um, nothing too fancy there. But I couldn't leave that behind, could I? One of my favourite movies is The Exorcist. Uh, so... This book will go on the shelf. Absolutely chuffed with this one. Just wheeled out um, from 95. The slappy there. Pretty sure Eli's going to claim that. Little bugger. But I'll see how long I can get away with that on my own shelf. Some of these can hold a bit of value. I don't know if this one will be much. This will be probably um, at the cabinet. But these are Aladdin thermists. And they did um, drink bottles and stuff like that. You know, they're, they're pretty old. I don't know exact age. 70s or 80s i can't remember but um yeah some of these can be really good so just a little nostalgic piece for the disney lovers i don't love disney love me some unique canterbury this was 13 50 but it's just out there she's wacky i think minimum 50 on that it's a bit of a bigger size but feels just about new as well Salomon Shoes here, good brand to be looking out for. Uh, what is the price? I don't know. I think these were nine bucks. I don't know where the tag's gone. Um, yeah, I'll I'll take that. <laughs> North Face hoodie there, seven dollars. It's an XL. I'll take that every day of the week. That should generally move fast in really good condition too. It's just going to be a bitch to photograph if I'm using today's light. Brett beat me at Greensboro to some dragon, but then I found these ones. They are up there a bit at 20, but I'm not leaving them there. 20 is my absolute max for dragon, and these are that funny material. Found the other trolls. There's a Santa one, a couple of those are small basics. Yeah, pretty cool. More trolls. And the back again, they'll just get bundled with future ones. $4 on that. Another Bombers jumper, a bit of an older one, and I don't often see that three logo. I think that's 2003. Um, they used, they rotated a few different ones. It might be M4, but yeah, don't often see that, so that's pretty good. Um, it has the heat pressed five on the back. I'm actually going to remove that. Devalues it having that in that condition like that, so that'll come off. And just in time for the grand final, will the Collingwood Magpies get the Premiership Cup? I got the coffee cup. Will I get the premiership cup? And this one, a bag of crap. Except for that Skylander. I wanted a. Now I got a. Get out. I'm joking. And her arm's broken. No, I was after the crow. So that's another one done and dusted. Thank you very much for being here. I've got a lot of work to do at the moment. Decided to do a big shuffle up. Uh, I'll put um, Willie and Howdy Doody on the uh, shelf there. The shelf saw changing, so I do have to do an update of the toy collection. Yes, I'm getting there. I've got a lot of really good con con content, 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 content coming out for you lot. Um, Lots of things up my sleeve, so I'm going to get pretty focused, super focused with that stuff soon. I've said that before. Anyway, thank you very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Big thanks to Brett. As I said, we didn't film too much. I will get him back on. If you want to see him back on, hit the like, hit the sub, and tell me in the comments that you want to see him again, and we'll do a full video, maybe a challenge or something that forces me to film it next time. Um, but it was just good to catch up with him. So I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you very much. Hopefully, probably not the next, but the one after. Elimination Chamber Part 2 is coming. So stop messaging me asking what's going on with it. It's coming, I'm telling you. It's just a big edit. Love yous, you bloody legends.